A new week has begun, but the deep problems remain for President Park and Hay over the abuse of power scandal enveloping her administration. Tens of thousands of people in Seoul and other big cities around the country took to the streets on Saturday evening to peacefully protest and call for the president to resign. The presidential office is doing what it can to calm public sentiment. Uh, hear various opinions and accommodate the political party's demands. Our presidential office correspondent Song Ji-sun is on the line for us. So Ji-sun, the top office can see this swell of public discontent. What are they saying to try and calm minds? Good Monday afternoon, Mark. A top official at the presidential office met with reporters around an hour and a half ago and said this week will be a critical period in reaching an agreement with the opposition parties on ways to resolve the snowballing crisis. The word he used the most was severe, showing the top office is aware of the level of public anger out there. He said the president and all of her secretaries are giving their utmost efforts with the top office prior that uh, priority is on the stabilizing nation and making sure that there is no vacuum in the state of affairs. The chief aide said they are, they are listening to people's call in a humble manner and trying their best to understand the people's perspective. In fact, he repeated this phrase many times over. The president's chief of staff and senior secretary for politics also visited the National Assembly today to meet with party leaders to arrange a face-to-face -face with President Park. The top office sought the opposition party's understanding and cooperation in approving the new prime minister nominee, saying the president has firm trust and belief in him. The chief aide added, added that the nominee Kim Byung-jin will be granted all the necessary power and authority to carry out state affairs and that further arrangements including discussion for revising the Constitution for presidential terms, will also be handled by the new PM. Now, these remarks were made before the chief of staff sat down with the parliamentary party leaders, meaning that the presidential office could have accepted their demands during those talks, with the top aide mentioning the issues will be dealt with in more depth at the meeting between the president and the party leaders. Another word the top office reiterated was communication. As pledged in her second public apology last week, President Ba is also going to seek some advice from senior religious leaders on this Monday who are representing Korea's Catholic and Protestant churches over the course of the day. Ha earlier sat down with civic leaders and senior commissioners of the ruling Tennessee Party after her first public apology, garnering their opinions and suggestions to handle the situation. The top office said that there will be more occasions where the president will hear the voices of the public from other religions and sectors of society. Back to you in the studio.